Welcome to Sigma Solver guys. Before I start the video, I want you guys to smash the like button. This helps the YouTube algorithm and keeps me motivated. And if you are new here, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to discuss a very important and interesting topic, which is elliptic curve cryptography. So first we read the question. Given an elliptic curve E 4,20 over Z 29 and the base point P 8,10, calculate the following point multiplication 9P using double and add algorithm, provide the intermediate results after each step. So there are many technical terms, so we'll go through them one by one. For those of you who don't know what is elliptic curve cryptography and double and add algorithm, from a theoretic side, I'll first give a brief reference and then start off with the actual calculation. So if you are willing to jump straight into the calculation, feel free to do so. Elliptic curve cryptography is an encryption algorithm, you can say. So we'll see how maths is related to this. Mathematical foundation. This is based on the algebraic structure of elliptic curves over finite fields. So this structure uses the properties of elliptic curve for cryptographic functions like encrypting and decrypting. Next, efficient security. Elliptic curve cryptography or ECC provides high security with shorter key lengths as we will see as compared to RSA making it like faster and more efficient. The examples of elliptic curve cryptography are secure SSL or TLS web connections that we establish, digital signatures for certification and authentication purposes. Third, blockchain transactions, Bitcoin. So when a transaction occurs in Bitcoin, the encryption algorithm mostly followed is ECC. Next, double and add algorithm. It is a simple and yet efficient way to compute the large scalar multiplications of elliptic points into smaller steps. We will see how it works and how it makes the process efficient of calculation. So first we do the binary multiplication, which is double and add algorithm. We are about to find out 9p, but in question we are given only p. Just to note, this p is the private key of the receiver. This z29 is the finite field that we will be using. So now in order to make 9p out of p, what we can do? One simple answer is like we add p nine times. Another process what we can do is step one, multiply p to 2p, then 2p multiplied to itself 4p, then again 8p and then add 1p to it. And how do I get this? If I do the prime factorization of 9, I get 2, 2, 2 and here 1, right? Like this. So I see that first 3 were 2, so first 3 were the double operation and the last was a one. So then it's an addition to the P that we had previously. It's one of the methods, but like you need to do it on a brute force level in order to get the most optimized method, right? And why we did so? Because this particular operation of P to 9P took four steps. Any other method will result in more than four steps, which we don't want. We want the minimum number of steps in order to reach 9p from p. So as I discussed, this means first p is then multiplied to 2p, step one, step two, step three, and step four then. We have to do the calculation stepwise. It's important to take note of this. This double and add algorithm is also called SAM algorithm, which is square and add method. Simply it allows to reach the target in minimum number of hops. Now we are given the p as the base point 8,10. So formula for calculating the next point in this process is first we calculate the equation of the elliptic curve. So the standard equation for elliptic curve in ECC is y square equals whole bracket x cube plus ax plus b mod p. In our case, in the question itself, we are given E 4,20. So this 4,20 over z29 translates into y square equals x cube plus 4x from here 20 and then 29 here right 
So that is how we translate it. We have to remember that the below formula can be only applied when P, this particular P is greater than 3 and 4A cube plus 27B square is not congruent to 0 mod P. We see the two initial points. Let's say we take them as A comma B which is x1 comma y1 and b as x2 comma y2 and the resultant point r is x3 comma y3. So then x3 can be calculated as s square minus x1 minus x2 mod p. Right? This mod is over the entire expression. y3 equals s times x3 minus x1 plus y1 whole mod p but this time we have to mirror the y found in this expression along x axis where in these both equations s is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 mod p this whole expression if and only if a is not equal to b which are the two points we took initially so if they are not equal then we apply this particular expression for s but if they are equal then s equals 3x1 square plus a upon 2y1 again whole mod p right now how is this gonna work where is a not equal to b we will explain below so let's take first step which is point doubling as we discussed above since we are going to double the points a is equal to b p plus p equals to p right so point is getting doubled so then s equals 3 and this is x1 so in this case p is 8 comma 10 so then 3 8 squared plus 4 upon 2 times y1 which is 10 so if we calculate this we get 49 times 5 inverse mod 29 after simplification 5 will be in denominator so i put the inverse sign now is simply take the mod and applied it to 49 we get 20 but we didn't touch 5 inverse. Remember that mod can be repeatedly as well as independently applied until it's no longer possible to the numbers. Right? So then I divided 20 by 5, it comes 4, and which is obviously the mod itself. So this is the value of s. We put it in the expression for x3. We get 4 squared minus 8 minus 8, which is x1 and x2. So if we just calculate that we get 0. So then using this x3 put it in equation of y3 we get 4 times 0 minus 8 which is x1 plus y1. Then we find out it as minus 22. So if we get a minus we need to apply addition of 29 until this becomes positive. So it became minus 22 plus 29 it became positive so then we stopped adding 29 and then the mod is 7 now what we want to do now we want to take the reverse about x axis so then 7 becomes minus 7 again take mod so as i said keep adding 29 to minus 7 until it becomes positive so 22 mod 29 which is actually the mod itself so the point 2p is 0 comma 22 now just to make sure that we are on track you can put this in the equation of the curve and you will find that it satisfies next step two repeat with 2p point doubling again 2p 2 becomes 4p so we apply the same formula for s because a was equal to b we apply it we find it as 11 inverse mod 29 now to find the inverse of such numbers, we can use format little theorem which says that if any number a inverse mod p is there, then the value will be a times p minus 2 mod p. If we just proceed with this, we see it will be 29 minus 2 mod 29. Simplifying further, so if we just calculate 11 power 3 mod 29 is 26. So put it there proceed further then we get 26 power 3 so if we just calculate it comes 2 so then 2 power 3 mod 29 which is 8 so we found the value of s now putting it in the equation of x3 again so 64 minus 0 
minus 0 because 2p equals 0 comma 22 right so then we find x3 put the value in y3's equation we get 12 mod 29 but we need to reverse it again so minus 12 mod 29 which is 17 next we go to the third step which is point doubling for 4p the coordinates for 4p is 6 comma 17 again you can put it in the equation of the curve and check it as it satisfies or not this satisfies so next we move on to point doubling for 4p again we put it in the same equation we get 56 into 17 inverse mod 29 we apply format little theorem and we get this particular expression if we simplify it further down we get 27 times 12 mod 29 and simplify it as 5 next we put it in equation of x3 we get 5 squared minus 6 minus 6 because 4p was 6 comma 17 we get 13 simply put it in the equation for y3 again we get 23 and we need to reverse that remember that we need to reverse that in order to find the actual point coordinate we get 13 comma 6 as the coordinates for 8p if we verify this also lies on the curve we move to the step 4 part which is point addition now you see the two points are different so a is not equal to b so then we apply the other formula for s now which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 mod 29 we simplify it we get minus 4 times 5 inverse mod 29 so if we just simply apply mod to minus 4 it will become 25 keep minus 5 inverse mod 29 as it is just simplify it down further we get 5 mod 29 you have to do this simplification carefully in order to reduce calculations then we find x3 which is 5 squared minus 8 minus 13 which was x1 and x2 respectively x3 comes as 4 mod 29 put the value in equation of y3 we get minus 39 mod 29 so since we have to keep add 29 until it becomes positive it will become 19 mod 29 after we apply addition twice to minus 39 then we have to reverse it which becomes 10 mod 29 hence 9p is equal to 4 comma 10 which if we try to verify now is y square equals x cube plus 4x plus 20 mod 29 put value we get 100 mod 29 here and 64 plus 16 plus 20 mod 29 so LHS equals RHS, hence this point also lies on the elliptic curve. So that's how you calculate any arbitrary point on the elliptic curve using double and add algorithm given you have a base point. So that's been it. If you still have any doubts, then feel free to reach out in the comment section below. If you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Till then, happy solving. Hey there, before you go, I've got some fantastic content lined up for you. Over here, we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy. But first, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.